Well, Fox 2 is your local election headquarters, and tonight Fox 2's Andy Banker follows the money now pouring into one of the top races, the Republican primary for Missouri governor. Well, we've been telling you how our polling shows that what once looked to be a cakewalk for Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft now looks like a dead heat between him and Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe. And when you dig into the campaign finance records, they suggest maybe the money is as important as the message. So when you vote for Donald Trump, I hope you'll also be voting for Jay Ashcroft. Ashcroft, the front runner, touts a new endorsement from former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. I'm Bill Igle. As governor, I'll always fight Washington. Third place candidate in our poll, State Senator Bill Igle just hit the air with his first TV ads, but Kehoe is winning in fundraising. Missouri Ethics Commission records show his campaign committee had $1.74 million on hand for the quarter ending in March, compared to $656,000 for Ashcroft's campaign committee and $727,000 for Eigel's. Ashcroft has a huge edge in name recognition from his father, the former governor, U.S. senator, and U.S. attorney general. And still we found the fundraising gap is even more pronounced when it comes to the PACs supporting the candidates. Committee for Liberty PAC, which supports Ashcroft, had $1.9 million on hand at the end of last quarter, raising less than $61,000 this month. Its top donors in 2024 are California real estate developer Stephen Craig, August Bush III, and Ashcroft's mother, Janet. The Bill PAC, which supports Igel, had a little more than a million dollars at the end of the quarter, but has raised 445000 this month. Its top donors are St. Louis pro-life activist Joan Langenberg, trial lawyers for justice of Montana, and Edelman Thompson Law of Kansas City. American Dream PAC supporting Kehoe dwarfs the others. $4.5 million at the end of last quarter, more than $2 million raised this month with mega donor support this year from St. Louis political financier Rex Sinkfield, Herzog Rail and Highway Construction of St. Joe, and Waycross Inc., the investment arm of agribusiness giant Cargill. Kehoe, though, says his lead among small donors tells the real story. The fact of the matter is we've outraised all seven other opponents in the Republican field by three to one with Missouri dollar donors, small dollar donors, people that are saying we like Mike's message. Early absentee voting for the August 6th primary is now underway. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.